Good evening everyone. Welcome back to my channel. This is one with a growth of blood. Tonight we are going to make the second part of our video from last week. Ngayon naman tayo ay magluluto ng patupat. Last week we did the soma and today and tonight we are going to make the patupat. So here are the ingredients. We need a glutinous rice. Coconut milk. banana leaves, salt, brown sugar, or coconut sugar. So, in this saucepan, a rice cooker or saucepan, you can cook this in a stove, you can cook this in a charcoal, you can cook this in a gas stove, and uh, firewood. In this saucepan, I'm going to cook two cups of glutinous rice. So I put two cups of glutinous rice here. Wash it nicely until the water is clear. And then add one cup of water. And one teaspoon of, one fourth teaspoon of salt. Then put it in that rice cooker to cook. When the rice starts to boil, turn it off because we don't want the rice to be cooked. We want it cooked only half done, halfly done. So while we are waiting for that rice to cook, with these banana leaves we are going to Put it over the fire to soften it so that it will not break when we wrap the patupat or the sticky rice. So in here, turn on the stove in a low fire and give these banana leaves to be softened, okay, like that. And then before you use this, you need to wipe it to get rid of all this dust you know we want it clean so there we go wipe all the banana leaves after you get it done from the fire okay so when that rice is cooked in the other electric frying pan you need to put one can of milk and add half cup of dark brown sugar or brown sugar okay and let it boil when it starts boiling With the wooden spoon, you have to keep stirring until the water evaporates and then you get this coconut milk and sugar left there and they're becoming sticky. That is when you have to add the sticky rice to the sugar and the coconut milk and mix it and stir it until the rice is becoming sticky okay maybe you do that for 10 minutes just keep stirring the rice mix it well with the uh, sugar and the coconut and then because once those are mixed well the rice will become sticky and it becomes like bluey now so we have done that the rice is already done we mix and then we add everything there and it's now ready to wrap so in this bowl because i made already this patopat earlier i have these banana leaves my mom used coconut leaves or sugarcane leaves what she does is 
she wave it's woven she wave there make a woven basket a little woven basket and then when the rice is ready she will put it in here so it's shaped like this the shape is like that okay it is shaped like this in a woven coconut leaves or sugar cane so it, there's like it will the shape would be like this so it will be four corners and there's an opening here where she will put that half cooked rice and boil it again until the rice is cooked but because we don't have that we can use the banana leaves that is supposed to be really the origin of patopa okay is to cook in a woven little basket but because we don't have all those ingredients we can use the banana leaves so here we go with these banana leaves we have already mixed that uh, rice in the coconut and also the sugar so it's already mixed and this is the outcome it will look like this okay it will be sticky like that that will be the result so we've been mixing it and stirring it until the rice is like a bit glowy it's hard to separate now in this banana leaves this is a clean tea towel by the way we are going to wrap this sticky rice but in different shape so we are making like a ice cream cone so the shape will be like this that's why that's the difference between the patu pat and the soman the soman will wrap it oblong and it's cooked with salt this patopa is done that way and it's cooked with sugar now you put that sticky rice inside okay like that and then press it like that both one two and then two and then fold it like this so that's the shape see the shape the shape will be like this like that now get a banana leaves and tie it so that it will not open because we are going to cook this again in a saucepan for another 10 minutes like what we did with the salmon so it will look like that see what i mean it's very cute isn't it i love it like this the suman is uh what you call it uh it's not traditional but it's a native delicacy it's a native delicacy okay this is served during special occasions salmon is served during special occasions i mean patupat is served during special occasions especially in the mountain where i come from called deliera with bontok in the people in bontok they also serve this with brewed coffee because it's really nice with a coffee or native coffee you call it we eat this all the time with coffee and it comes it's really nice because the banana leaves and the sugar and the um, coconut all blend together and the aroma the texture really come out really well yeah. so earlier today I made the patopat already for you so in a saucepan after I finished wrapping all this sticky rice in a banana leaves like this I put it back in the saucepan 
and cook it for another 10 minutes. So I, I wrap, I put it back there, put water up to there in the middle, put it back in the fire, in the oven, and in the stove, sorry. When it starts to boil, this is on high, when it starts to boil, turn down the fire to medium and cook this for, time it for 10 minutes. Because that rice is half cooked, remember? It was half cooked and then I turned it off. Now we wrap it and put it back again in the fire to get that sticky rice cooked or our patupa cooked. But we don't want to overcook that because when it's overcooked, it's a bit very soft and uh, glowy, but if it's just done nicely, it is really, really good that you a bit of chewy and a bit of, uh, it's just melt in your mouth rather than it's very soft, it's just not yeah. that nice. But when it's just cooked, right? It just melt in your mouth and you want to eat more. That's what I mean. Okay, after 10 minutes, take out in the fire, get rid of the water, drain the water, of course, and then here we go. Before before I put all the water, I cover it first with banana leaf. It gets it give more smell, good smell to the food. So in here, I'm going to get a plate so that you can see what I'm talking about. And serve them. So, it looks like that. See when it's cooked? Like that. Okay? Like this. See? Like that. Okay. That's what I'm talking about. So, here we go. Ta-ta! That's how it looks like. This is patupa. Okay? Or too big. Too big or patupa. Now, let's try. So we are going to open one. So we have to get rid of that string and try one. So this is our Water. and let's open one and try so if you're a cook you have to be artistic you know see what we did we made a shape of like ice cream see like we are eating ice cream <laughs> and get a spoon or fork and try our patupa so this one was cooked with sugar, remember that? And the suman was cooked with salt. Mm, let's try. Mmm. Mmm. It's very, very yummy. Mmm. The banana leaves, the sugar, and the salt, and the coconut. Do you all blend together and it tastes really yummy mm, very nice look at that mm. that's perfect okay mm. yummy i don't want to stop eating this okay now so if you did not subscribe to my channel please subscribe leave a comment below share and like and don't forget to click that notification bell so that uh, you are always updated to my next video. Thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed watching my video and enjoy your cooking. Thank you. Bye and good night. Bye. God bless.